you are watching Touch of Class with Debbie Elliott. Welcome to Touch of Class with Debbie Elliott. Today I have a special guest, my own doctor. <laughs> I'm going to physical therapy, Dr. Um, Larry Nicholson. Thank you. Welcome to my show. Um, would you talk about yourself a little bit, a few minutes, about what you do, what the kind of doctor is? Yeah, I'm a doctor of chiropractic and I have a specialty in sports medicine. Um, we treat uh, in our office um, ages from one year up to 95. So they're not all athletes, you know, but a, a majority of our patients are athletes. You know, youth athletes to high school athletes to um, pro athletes. And so um, we have a myriad of uh, therapeutic modalities we, we use in our office, you know, along with uh, chiropractic manipulation too. So um, I know you are, when you were young, you were listening. Mm -hmm. Yes. Listeners, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. And I seen a lot of pictures in uh, Russia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the interesting you are wrestling you're doing wrestling and now you are kind of practice right. how that things changed yeah you know you know that's what got me into sports medicine uh, -huh. uh the u.s olympic committee paid for my part of my uh, sports medicine uh, education oh. so when i was on the national team for about seven years yes. they uh you can apply for grants as a national team athlete uh -huh. and uh <clears throat> i did so they uh gave me the money I needed to, uh, to do part of my sports medicine training and it, it enabled me to work with um, you know having been an elite athlete mm -hmm. you know I know what it takes and how important it is to get people better functionally uh -huh. and and faster you know so, so you enjoy it what you're doing now I love what I do now oh, yes. that's great mm -hmm. um, the, you're a native Tracy Native person, Tracy, yes. and you graduated Tracy High. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. So your parents is living in here. They too, still live in town here. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So you, always you, involved in sports. My dad was an uh, athletic director and a football coach. Oh, is that right? Yeah, at okay. Tracy High, High School. So I've always been involved in sports, uh -huh. and then having been a young wrestler and you know in grade school and, and uh, high school and gotten injured, you know, uh -huh. I okay. went to different doctors and. Uh -huh. Uh, and so on, and that led me to chiropractic school and on to specialize in sports medicine. Uh, your bio is you've been quite a bit different in college. Mm -hmm. You graduate yes. a kind of practice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why did you do that? So many, so many different college. Well, uh, just because uh, different colleges offer different things, and uh -huh. so um, you know, following graduating from chiropractic college, I uh, went to Los Angeles College of Chiropractic mm -hmm. and did the first part of my sports medicine training. And then I got involved with the national wrestling team and traveling. And then when I moved back to Tracy, I wanted to continue on with the sports medicine training. And uh, so I, I went as far as you could in our profession for sports medicine. I know, like a three yeah. or four different colleges yeah, graduated yeah. and get doctor degree. So that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So you married Tracy, native Tracy lady, or? You married? Yeah, in tr yes. Tracy person. No, no. Uh, uh, my wife Sarah is from Southern California. Uh huh. And so is I, she I is here there. today? She's in the audience. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's so nice. So, how many years have you been married? See, just almost thirty years. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. You look so young. <laughs> you look like thirty-nine. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> so, what the kind of treatment and the, what the kind of people do you treat? Like I said, we treat from from infants all the way to uh, geriatric mm -hmm. population, mm -hmm. and uh, anywhere in between. We do a lot of uh, uh, work injuries, uh, trying to get people back to work, and uh, the, the type of conditions we see anything from sports injuries, um, ankle injuries, yeah, wrist injuries, shoulder injuries, knee injuries, mm -hmm. um, to disc herniations, mm -hmm. spinal stenosis. So it's pretty much a gamut. It's not your typical chiropractic office. So I would say anything neuromusculoskeletal is what wow. we treat in our office. So well, this is my experience. Um, I had a very severe pain, sciatica pain, mm -hmm. 
And now I have very little pains. Yeah. Now I really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. I still can come. <laughs> you can still come. Yeah. We, like I said, when, when we treat patients with uh, not understand your condition, but with disc herniations or uh, spinal stenosis, joint problems. Uh -huh. um, we, we have a, a new table, new decom decompression table, which you like. And, oh, uh, I just love that. You know, our, our goal is to get you out of the pain and, and then to uh, then address the issue uh, of working on some core strengthening exercises, mm -hmm. uh, get, getting the, the patients back so they can do activities again, trying to think long-term treatment, not just, not just symptomatic treatment to get patients out of pain. Wonderful. But, I couldn't live know. without the pain pill. Yeah. Um, I don't take any more. Yeah, that's and, great. And uh, my surgery doctor, I called him and told him, I don't think I need a surgery. I'm mm -hmm. okay now. Yeah. And I used to couldn't stand in more than five minutes, so mm -hmm. much pain. Mm -hmm. uh, last night we were in bed with my husband, and uh, we standing about an hour. Mm -hmm. And I said, I don't have pain. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, um, um, you treat every different way, different people. Exactly, yeah. And in and, and patients, you may get uh, a group of patients coming with back pain, and they may get, if you have five patients with back pain or sciatica, mm -hmm. they may get five different treatments. Exactly. Not everybody gets the same treatment because uh -huh. they're cause of their sciatica or cause of their back pain may be different from patient yes. to patient. Yes. So it's not a one thing fits all, you know. So uh, we're pretty fortunate in our office. We have a lot of different equipment. So we just find, I go, it's, I always tell the patients, it's not about me, it's, it's finding out what's gonna get you better. And that's what we gotta focus on the patient and their problems. So every treatment plan is customized for that patient, you know, to, to relieve their symptoms. I love the cupping too. Oh, like and last yeah. night I wearing a that formal dress. We had a formal mm -hmm. party, and uh, I I can't cover this, <laughs> but, but I just stand against the wall so nobody go behind me. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I just love it. Yeah, the cupping leaves marks on you. That's that. I know. That's the negative side, but they only last for about four or five days. You know. Yes, I just uh, done a Friday, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. There's many people Still, like to do cupping. What the cupping do to you? Yeah, with, uh, we, we think more of the Western approach. So cupping um, to really mild fascial pain. Mm -hmm. So it, it increases blood to the surface. That's why you get the, the bruising mm -hmm. from the cups. But mm -hmm. uh, so you're pulling blood to the surface. And we also do what's called mild fascial cupping, where we put the cups on and we glide it across the skin. So you're pulling up the skin off the tissue underneath of it. So it's a form of myofascial treatment uh -huh. that's low invasive. So that wonderful that uh, the my experience is really uh, taking out the pain off from me, and I'm really happy, and I keep want to come. And you're gonna put to me exercise. We'll give you exercise. Yeah. Yes. yes. Once we get the pain. Uh, to uh, reduce to a low level, do we want to start core strengthening exercises? So. Great. Well, um, we'll be back in a minute. You are watching the Debbie Elliott Show right here on Comcast. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday at 9 a.m. and Thursday at 6 p.m. Thanks for watching. At this moment, in Stockton, Sacramento, and San Francisco, a University of the Pacific student has made a decision. A decision to learn, live, and lead with purpose in mind. Here, it's all about moments. Moments that change lives, families, communities, economies, the world. At University of the Pacific, these moments give life purpose. They give us purpose, too. After all, we share one future. Join us. University of the Pacific. Yeah, we back again. Well, now Dr. Nicholson and uh, his assistant going to have demonstration what the kind of pain for what the kind of style work. So this is going to be wonderful. And uh, please, could you come in and uh, yes, okay. um, could you tell your name? I'm Lauren. To the camera. I'm Lauren. 
I'm Devin. Thank you, you two. And uh, please show that uh, first, whatever you include. Okay. Lauren uh, runs a good part of our rehab for us in the office, um, teaching patients how to exercise uh -huh. and also evaluating them on uh, muscle weaknesses. Oh. So what first we're going to do is called a double squat test. Lauren's going to have describe it. Um, we'll have Devin so you're going to grab the bar, come kind of wide at the hips, and get ready for a squat position. So feet slightly wider than your hips. Raise your arms up over your head. Arms are straight. You're going to squat. From here, we watch for muscle imbalances. Um, we watch to see if the knees buckle. Um, we watch the back, how the back arches. And we also watch from the side view. Come and stand. And we're going to turn sideways down. And from the side view, same thing. We watch to see if the chest falls forward, and Devin's got a really good squat, so. Um, we watch to see what needs strengthened, what needs stretched. Okay, and now, so that will tell us what we need to work on. If a lot of patients, when they do uh, come in, they'll, and their upper back will be really tight and they can't extend their arms backwards. So then we know we need to work with their thoracic spine to work on some strengthening, stabilizing the muscles, and also we want to get the joints to function better. So we want to maybe manipulate or mobilize the uh, thoracic spine. So what we're going to show you now is um, three exercises that we give most of our patients with back pain, three things that they can do at home, even if they don't have any equipment. So, uh, so the first exercise is pelvic bridge. So Devin, put me please lay on your back. The patient lies face up on their back, hands at their sides and legs are bent. From here, the patient presses their hips up to a bridge and lowers. Up and down for a certain number of repetitions. Go and rest. And any of these exercises can be made more challenging by going on a single leg, for example. So the leg would move then with the pelvis, bridging up and down, and you would hit both legs. So then you move the other leg. Bridging up and down. This is a posterior chain exercise, so it hits from the low back, the glutes, hamstrings, and the calf. Go ahead and rest. These can also be made more challenging by putting the feet up on top of something unstable, like a stability ball or um, some type of platform. So that's the first exercise, a pelvic bridge. Second exercise, go ahead and flip over Devin, it's called a bird dog. Patient is on their hands and their knees. Their shoulders and their hands are in line, and their knees are under their hips. From here, we have the patient extend one leg straight back, contracting the glutes so that the leg is extended straight behind, and one arm, opposite side, straight forward, up by the ear. And we want to make sure that the pelvis can and repeat. The pelvis does not rotate. So from here, keep it nice and square at the hips, and alternate sides. Holding for approximately three seconds, two, three, and alternating between the two sides. This can be made more challenging by going again once in like a stability ball, those big yoga balls. Um, so that is a bird dog. The last exercise is called a dead bug. So patient lies on their back, face up. From here, the patient automatically wants to arch their back. So your, her job is to contract her core so that her back is pressing flat into the floor. Legs are bent and she's gonna raise her arms up straight in front of her. From here, keeping her back pressed into the floor, she extends one leg straight out towards the floor, keeping that back pressed into the floor and switching sides. Now this exercise looks simple, but it is very challenging. Devin should feel her core lighting up right here. And to make this one more challenging, the patient would then raise the opposite arm up by her ear. So if it was her right leg, her left arm, and back. The whole time keeping her back pressed into the floor. And again, the patient would repeat for a certain number of repetitions. Good. Those are the three exercises we send with patients. Pelvic bridge, bird dog and dead bug. Okay, so you said patient can do at the home. Yes. But I 
watching this, I don't think I can do by myself. <laughs> and that kind of patient like me, mm -hmm. are you going to do your office a little while, then go yes. send home? Yes. And, because no way I can do that. <laughs> I, I, I know that's what probably works yeah. for your back pain. Yeah, I think you I can't do that. Exactly. If they have any pain, they're not to do any of those exercises. So we'll make sure they're pain free. If we want them to feel the muscles, but we don't want to elicit any pain. Like I'm going to break myself. Yeah. So we have other exercises that we do in the office. You've seen uh -huh. the straps and everything. Uh -huh. You know, we don't have room in the studio here to do that, but we are going to just show you a few other things that we do in the office, but we definitely, like I said, we customize each program for the I patient see. with what they're able to do at home, but we'll, or we'll start them on a program in the office and they can continue there yes. or they can do things at home. I so see. But the next thing we'll do is we'll, what we do in our office lot is we work on balance because as people get older, the balance tends to get poor. Yes. So. Yes. Um, that's why you get older people that are, they, they fall and they end up fracturing something. But, so we'll, we'll show you a few things today that, how we work on balance okay. and, and stability. So, right. do you want to, yeah. I'll let you yep. get it. Okay. So, first what we would do, for example, um, like Dr. Nicholson said, we work a lot of balance, proprioception, which is body awareness. Um, first we would have the patient just simply stand on top of something unstable. This is a Bosu ball. It stands for both sides up. It is half ball, Ooh. half <laughs> flat. So we have the patient initially just stand on top of this ball for a set amount of time or so. Um, and we would be there helping. <clears throat> and if the patient's comfortable with just standing, we then progress to things like squatting on top of the Bosu ball. Squatting to what's comfortable. And typically with patients as they squat, their Bosu ball gets unstable. And again, with the squat, we're watching the knees, making sure the knees aren't flaring or buckling in. If the patient is then comfortable with squatting, we would then give the patient something like a weight to squat with. So just a regular squat, keeping the chest up, driving the knees out, engaging her core, being on the stability ball. From here, the last progression would be a thruster or a squat press. So the patient would squat and press the weight overhead while on the BOSU ball or the, in, the unstable surface. It takes a lot more balance and coordination to do this. Uh, yeah. How many time a week or uh, how many minutes you do a there's for the you start of your few minutes and mm -hmm. go. Start with a, a low number of repetitions, about 10 to 15 or so. I probably um, never guess that. And that's okay. <laughs> so it <laughs> takes practice. We hold your hand. You'd be amazed. <laughs> a lot of patients, the older ones that come in, they say, I can't do this, I can't do that. And but we help you on it. Yes. And Devin's been doing this for a couple years, you know. Well, so two years. Two I years. Guess, she's so. been working on it, about about three to four days a week doing this. So, wow. um, so she's come a long ways. But uh, most patients, um, Lauren will stand in front. I'll stand in back because they'll fall off this, and yes. we just get them used to it. But the more I don't you think do I it, even it that. yeah, it takes about three weeks, and and you, it's an incredible thing to see how patients progress. They so improve very fast. The back the balance. pain help a back pain. It helps because you gotta balance. You're working the hip stabilizers, the knee stabilizers, mm -hmm. and and your, your spine, your core stabilizers. Because uh -huh. you gotta work balance. That I thing see. wants to move and you gotta get all those muscles to fire to stabilize it. And that's how we treat long term back problems and stuff. Not just adjust you or do decompression. That's to initially get you out of pain and to restore function in a joint. But we want to stabilize the spine because we want long-term relief, not just a, a quick fix. So you so. practice this too all yourself? The time. All the time. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. We, we, we wow. practice what we preach in our office. So we work strength, wow. conditioning, and balance all the time. So. Wow. That's amazing. So you do too? Mm-hmm. I'm the one that teaches it. Yeah. <laughs> Lauren's actually a personal trainer, so she does training okay. sessions in our office when, we're, when the office is closed. Wow. So it's it's a it's a win win for patients, wow. you know, the ones that want to do that. But uh, you know, I I see the benefit because we get patients healthy yes. and feeling better than they felt in years uh -huh. and stuff, you know. So I want to think the long term, not just a quick fix now. So, so. once you start to do this, you best is you keep doing it. Keep doing it. Like I said, you could do it at home. 
um, if they belong to a gym, some of them will do it in the gym, mm -hmm. or other ones, they'll do Lauren's training sessions. You know, whatever it takes to keep them on a fitness program, you know, so, and, and you know, a good core strengthening program, so. This is great. Yeah. Thank you. That was wonderful. <laughs>
And um, I know we, we do sometimes like different way that I get uh, uh, people call me or people tell me that enjoy the show and they learn. And uh, if they can do it at the home, like exercise it, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. I know I can't, but... Right. <laughs> we offer both. Like I said, a lot of patients, we, we will give them exercises in the office to do. Yes. But the days they're not in the office, we want them to do some things at home. So we'll find out, mm -hmm. you know, we'll give you the patients a program that they can do at home. It's Like I said, it's customized, so... So this uh, very beautiful backache or muscle mm -hmm. ache or whatever. Patients that have just had surgery on their oh, knees, their hips, their shoulders. Uh -huh. We do a lot of post-surgical rehabilitation in our office along with uh, trying to keep patients from surgery, like back surgery mm -hmm. so, or neck surgery. That's so. wonderful because mm -hmm. I know so many people have sciatica pain, back mm -hmm. pain, shoulder mm -hmm. pain. And my age, my friend about the same age, they always have some pain some somewhere. Pain. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.